today I'm going to be showing the riverbed tool that I made for Laser Valve Standard Order. This tool is designed to do about 90% of the work of placing a riverbed, uh, then with a few final touches to be done by hand. It's been a really huge time saver for us compared to putting in rivers by hand using Unreal's terrain sculpting tools. Rivers can only flow downhill, so the tool will cut through terrain to ensure the downhill flow is maintained. If I move this point around, you can see that here. So it makes canyons and it will also make um, river banks where needed to support the river spline that follows afterwards. The controls uh, that I've set up here allow us to modify the width and the depth of the river. So I can just go in here and start changing the width, make it much bigger there, uh, and the same thing with the depth. So diving into the subnet, the starting point is our input um, height map and our curve. We take the curve, resample it and snap it to the terrain. Uh, we then add a bit of code to stop it from going downhill. We set the width as a attribute on each point and then randomize that a little bit. And then as we copy on these lines, you can start to see a visual representation of what the river will look like. We turn these into columns and then we start um, generating the 3D shape. So we snap the outer two columns to the terrain. Uh, and then the inner two columns are the depth, so we can see here the shape of it. We subdivide and smooth it, and then we have a good cutout tool we can use um, on the terrain. So using subnets, we can then go through and add in multiple rivers. And it's ready to export back to Unreal. So switching back over to Unreal, all that's left to do is to re-import the height map, which I've already done. And then the artist can just go through and just do a little bit of final touching up, smooth out those jagged edges. And in a few seconds or minutes at most, it's ready for use. The workflow follows the method used in Horizon Zero Dawn, which is really well documented in a talk by Guerrilla Games and is available on the SideFX website. So if you wanted to make a tool like this, I really highly recommend having a look at that video uh, and I put a link in it in the description below.